right, everybody, it's rhyme time. So I'm playing rhyme, got a lot of requests to play this one. Don't know much about it. It looks like it vaguely may or may not take some inspiration from the Team Ico games. Uh, and interestingly, the, when you look at the first logo is popping up, you see Tequila Works, which is the same name we saw in a recent uh, game I played on this channel called The Sexy Brutal, which is pretty neat. Really close together releases there, though, so I'm wondering how much they were involved exactly. Who knows? Well, this is definitely a pretty art style. So, right off the bat, I noticed that it says Tequila Works and only Tequila Works back there. And I'm wondering about that, because I guess that must mean that they're probably the primary company involved in this game? Interesting. So Tequila Works made the game Deadlight back in 2012. And then here in 2017, they put out Sexy Brutal and... This game, Rhyme, like, almost back-to-back, -back, like, only a couple months apart or something? That's... weird. I wonder what the development story is there for a relatively sm What seems like a pretty small company to put two games out, like, back-to-back. -back. We have X is Jump. Circle is Roll. Trying... Oh. Triangle makes you yell, apparently. I think we have a pretty fixed running speed. I don't think any of the buttons make me go faster. That's a pretty... that's a pretty neat way of rendering water. Obviously it's not realistic, but as a... like a cartoonish way of doing water, it's actually really effective. It's really nice looking. You've got a gradient where everything changes color the deeper into the water it gets, and then there's the... 2D, like, ripple effect that's plastered over it all. It's really, really nice to look at. And that's a really nice, clean art style there, too. So I know basically nothing about this, I just know that it's... ...something in the territory of, like, an action-adventure game, or maybe just an adventure game. Let's see, can we swim? The light here is inviting, so I'm just gonna follow it for a bit and see if this is the right way to go. Maybe that they wanted to introduce swimming to make sure I know that I can without necessarily going out of their way to explain it to me. And this is probably going to teach me I can climb. Yep. Yeah, th this is probably the way I'm supposed to go then. This seems like one of those silent tutorials. Okay. We're immediately shown up in the sky a big old tower that looks like it's got a keyhole on it. Is that my ultimate goal or just my first goal, I wonder? Got a light over here. Seems like a good goal to go after. Is that a warthog? A pit oh, there's a big one. Yep. What's your deal?
I just yelled at a statue. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's a series of statues down here, and this one just lit up when I found that one. So, I need to find... Three more, it looks like. And judging by this, the angle of the, st the statue, it looks like it does not necessarily point at the other one. I found it up there, but this one kind of points over here. So I don't think that they're necessarily in a pattern that tells you what direction they're going to be in. You just got to kind of look around till you find them. There's one up there, interestingly. But that isn't, I don't know if that'll be an option yet. We'll see. Oh! Minor PSA, for those who don't know. So this game is on... I'm playing on PS4. Uh, it's also on PC. It might be on Xbox. I haven't checked. It might even be on... For all I know, it might even be on the Switch. I haven't... I just haven't looked into it. But, uh... This game has had a number of news articles, and even the developer themselves pitch, uh, admitting that, like, the... Ooh, those beams point straight at the... Those are probably the other statues. I guess they are pretty easy to find, then. Uh, apparently the PC version has major optimization issues. Just want to warn anyone out there. Uh, some people have zero issues, some people have massive issues, and it doesn't seem to really correlate cleanly with how good their PC is. Some people with great PCs have huge problems, and some people with less great PCs don't really have any issues. So that's why I'm playing it on console. Because that's just... Some indie developers don't do so great at the whole optimizing on other platforms, so I'm like, I'll just pick the one that they probably did, did correctly. Can I jump over here? Yep. I'm trying to find my way over to the light source. There we go. What's that? Oh, there we go. You have to hit square for some reason. So that's a... Looks like there's collectible animals stashed around the environment. There's birds. Is that where I came in originally? I think it... Yep, there's the vines. Or the briars. So can I climb up here? Seems like mostly a dead end. This is the original path, so I'm going to keep going. I think this is going to be how we find the light. So we do have direction here. The statues don't point towards the other statues or anything, but there's definitely, like, big glowing beams in the sky, and that pretty much takes care of things. Oh! Oh. Uh... Okay. <laughs> and a very abrupt first death that I did not know was going to happen. <laughs> Whoops. So don't jump like that, apparently. So can I transfer to that? Do I just need to get higher before I jump? Okay, I was just not high enough. Apparently. Whew. A lot of seagulls and butterflies around. I think that's the original tower we saw. So it's got that beam coming out of it. Uh. Immediately thinking of Journey here. We have a tower ruin, we have a red cape, and we have these, like, almost, what looks like, almost like the headstones from that game. He looks like he probably has arms, though. Which I don't think the Journey people did for some reason. That's a striking visual, and he's just gone. Yep. This kid's got some hustle. No sprint button, though. Just gonna go right down the tower and probably out the front door or something. Yep. There it goes. That's two down, two to go. So, I was about to jump in the water, but we've re we've definitely established that that's not an option from what happened last time. Can I climb out on this thing? Probably not. Nope. Let's head back down. 
I thought I might poke around on the uh, little ledge to see if I find secrets. I could stare at this game for a while, I think. Ooh, is that another one? I think that's another collectible already. Okay. Um... How do I get to the U? That one caught me by surprise. It said to hit circle, but I was it was too late. I'd already made the mistake. Is that just how I hang off ledges? Yep. So maybe this connection will take me somewhere. Oh yeah, this could take me around back. That just seems dangerous down there. Hey there. Oh. Another collectible type. So we have we have like six or some six or seven animals, however many showed up before. Then we have like these discs to collect. Or we collect each with like there's, there's uh four quadrants. Huh. We'll see how many collectibles I get. It, it depends a bit of on how uh how reasonable they are to find. My slight concern is that I don't think I, there was any clue so far as how to, or any indicator of how to find those, besides the fact that they glow when you already are looking straight at them. Raises my concern a bit, because I worry about whether or not I'll even have any clue where to look once I set out to look for them. That's where I just was. We've got two down, and we pretty much already know where to find the other two. Oh, what's up with this? These trees almost seem like they might mean something. Hey there. I've got... What is that, a melon, I think? Oh, hey, look at that. They are really into my melon right now. All right, well that probably does something. Maybe there's a pressure plate that I can get them to stand on if I guide them there with a melon or something. Wow, I've got a stampede behind me now. That's alarming. Hey, little guys. Please don't attack me for the food. How you doing? Hi, oh. Ow. Um, excuse me. Bye. Oh, look, there's fruit. Oh, was that a puzzle? <laughs> was that a puzzle? I think that was a puzzle. I think I was supposed to realize there's fruit behind them and realize I can get them out of the way with that. Huh. Stumbled into that one. That's a lot of jellyfish down there. And, yep, more jellyfish. I thought I, thought I saw a sea turtle, but it was just a sideways jellyfish. <laughs> Alright, lots of boars around here, and they are running from me now. I'm not as cool without my melon. Not seeing anything down there. Alright, three down, one to go. We're up to a good start, I think. A lot of them around here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm right. I think I was supposed to be blocked back there, then come down here and be like, Hey, look, there's fruit. They're all eating it. And then I can, like, grab one of these and take it over to distract them. But I found the fruit first. So it kind of undid the whole thing, didn't it? Just keeping an eye out for anything that stands out. 
Obviously, I know where the beam is that I'm trying to get to, but I'm looking for, like, another pillar that has a collectible just hanging out on top of it or something. I'm not sure where to expect those. Technically, probably everywhere. Hey, little crab. Was it dangerous in the water? Can I just- can I just go for it? Or do I get attacked or something? Uh-oh. Oh! I have to go underwater to get there. There we go. So we're, we're going by those rules where you can only climb on poopy ledges. Everyone likes smearing white all over ledges to make them climbable in video games. There we go. Four for four. Bye. I guess that's it for now. Actually, a little satisfying to, to swim around underwater because you feel like you're going really fast. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it definitely feels slower on the surface. Let's see, we've got a clear goal now because we've got the four statues. But let's look around a little bit. All right, this is just the, the other side of that. Just was wondering if I'd end up seeing like a statue lying around, or a collectible or something. If I press the touchpad, he hums. Got him. Now I yell at you? That was a mix of mechanical and magical. There's a mechanical part where the pillar goes up, but a magical part where the staircase just kind of apparates in there out of nowhere. So what do you do? It looked like a little child or something. Let's poke around in corners for a bit. Oh, that's a glow. I bet that glow is kind of important. Hello. Okay, so we're still in what this game considers the first section then. I was slightly worried I was supposed to find four of them already before even getting that far. Somehow. Audio's acting up a little bit, huh? That's a cool sight. Yeah, they, I like that. I like how they handle the water just generally in this game. What is that? What did that do? Are you gonna stop or something? You, you almost look like it's a work in progress or something. That's weird. It's just rocking back and forth in place. Oh, it was that. I couldn't- I couldn't figure out where the thing went that was actually controlling it. Yep. I knew to follow the light, but I couldn't- it escaped the camera immediately from the uh, angle I was facing. Alright. I probably needed to do that. Yep.
Okay, we've got a friendly little spirit fox guiding us now that we seem to have summoned into existence. And that's the first statue I, th I found, I think, and I think that's where we started. Definitely getting a few uh, frame drops here and there, so I think maybe those optimization problems weren't only on PC. We'll power through, though. I don't think it's the type of game where that stuff actively gets in the way of the gameplay, probably. I'd be surprised if it did, because it seems like a pretty mellow thing. Should I go up the stream? Ah, he's got a separate animation for running in the water. Oh yeah, there's, there's stuff around here. Alright, three out of four. I'm immediately ignoring the indication of where to go. <laughs> so I'm just kind of wandering around and I want to- I just, I just want to poke around through all the different paths I can take a look at. There's a few of you now, what's up with that? The idea is I just need to go get the other one. Alright, getting kind of stuck on that shape. So do you just stay for a while and fade, or what? Yeah. Is the trick just to stand in the middle, basically? There we go. So if I stand in the middle-ish, I can kind of get better reach there. There's the fox again. There's a white silhouette, a black silhouette, a bridge, and a fox. And the same tower we've seen elsewhere. So was that all a dead end back here? Or was there a way over? It was a dead end. Just the collectible? So we've established a few things now. We have... A statue where if you yell at it, there's a time limit. We have st statues that activate things, but maybe you need more than one. We have doors that require that kind of stuff. And then we have the other type of statue, which is just the, uh, here's some animals all lined up. Go find them all one by one. You have infinite time to do so. What is this? Oh. Okay. Oh. Bye. It was nice knowing you. Huh. So I used perspective to make an entire doorway exist. Seems to be the same shape as that. No, not, not quite shaped like that one. Interesting. That door exists because I looked at it at the right angle, basically. Is that the last piece of the circle? Alright, we finished the first circle already. Thought, might, thought we might have some trouble with that. That's a cool sight. Don't know what's going on with that main... That main tower in the middle there, though. It's... It's foundations are just obliterated. Still hanging in there. They're pretty consistent about the constantly changing footstep noises as you run around.
There's that guy again. He's gonna disappear as I run towards him, or is he waiting for me to actually get up there? Are you G-manning me? I think he's G-manning me. I wonder if he's supposed to represent some kind of missing father figure character or something. I could probably get over there. He's off in that direction and I can probably find a path. Okay, he seems like it might go there. But I can't climb up there? Hello. Are you gonna take me where I need to go? Well, now we're down here. Might as well see where some of these paths lead. Maybe we'll find another secret animal? That looks like something. What is that? Seems like a destroyed machine of some kind. Well, that's peculiar. He won't yell at it. I don't- I don't think we have an interaction there, it's just kind of a... interesting... machine... thing. And we've established that he pretty much only climbs out... at... poopy... cliffs, basically. Though smeared on a white spot, so I'm gonna not jump in the water, because I don't know how I'll get back out. Here we go. This is the path I was trying to find when we were back down there. I'll maybe come back up that way. There's a staircase way back there. Boop. Is that another animal? Nope, it's another thing. There's also paintings, apparently. Add that to the list. So we have animals, we have paintings, and we have discs. Are they all in here? Outfits. Oh, I found an alternate costume already. Interesting. Boys. There's that one. Emblems. That's the first one, the fox. So it's four, 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 two, four. They might be themed after the animal of their particular level. We might learn a lullaby. There's a lot going on here. There's a gallery, keyholes, lullaby, emblems, toys, and outfit. Interesting. Kid just finds clothes sitting around in some ruin, puts it all on. Hey! Don't do that, that's rude. Came all the way up here to get you. Sneaking away on me. 